Nice, nice, nice. 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 Nice, nice, the difference between a good and a great team is down to communication, because communication brings chemistry, something that just pure strat or gun skills cannot do for you. Having said this, let's start immediately with this video. Here's a cool picture made for my subreddit by Atof. I will leave the subreddit link down in the comments section below if you want to check it. I will talk a bit about solo queue in the last part of this video. Let's take a look at the clip of the old secret, and how even a small detail of rotating from A to B was said. Kept. Yeah, I'm rotating to Prisa. The biggest issue of communication is the lack of comms. Everyone of your team should know what you're doing and what you're seeing, and there should be no confusion. Did you get in hook on coastline and open up the vault to Aqua? Let everyone know. Did you plan to drone out Hall of Fame, Penthouse and Theater? Let everyone know. Did you drone it? Well, you need to say that. The more you talk, the more efficient the round you will do. You won't have two people droning the same room from two different locations. If you want to see if rooms all the way to theater is clear, having a droner from luggage and another droner from VIP is a waste of manpower, utility and time. This comes very important when it's about maps like Clubhouse or Cafe, when you need to have people actively pushing, droning and cutting rotations in the same time. Another look to all secrets video. In there you will hear Office call, which is study. Okay. Office is clear, office is clear, but they have a hole behind the bar, by the bar, okay? You have heard how the droner is giving the info of the setup of the defenders. This is also all important on defense. Are you holding Maestro's evil eye in the arsenal that is watching main stairs? Let your team know. Then they don't need to have anyone focus on that angle. In higher ranks, usually you will have vertical holes from games to main stairs, with having another person where the Alibi prison is. If you are the person that is supposed to watch the vertical angles, and you are going off your angle because you are dealing with the other stuff, you need to let everyone know how you stopped watching the angle. The same thing applies if you are playing Watcher, swapping between the drones on attack, or changing cameras on defense. You need to let everyone know what you are holding. Check the following call in the secrets match. Even slight info such as I'm going to check cameras is recommended to say. In most situations you want to give global calls. Saying left or right can be misleading as my left doesn't need to be your left. Direction in compass and the name of the room helps you with that. All that you have to remember is where the north is, and then you always know that left of the north is west, and right of it is east, and the opposite of north is south. Sometimes it's easier to say left or right, and there are definitely solutions when left and right are superior to the compass directions. But if all of your team knows where the north is, then everyone should know where left and right is. Let's take a look at the G2's match. Notice the priority over the calls. Watch out, Echo Drone. Drop pillar. Drop pillar. Halfway on, on Echo Drone. On Echo Drone. I, I got this, I think. I got Pushing it. up, 90. He's burning. I, I, I have your angle. I have your angle. I'm running away. He's still pillars. He's still I'm pillars. Running, I'm He's pushing up, 90. He's pushing 90 now. Crouch. 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 Nice. Nice. Good crouch call. He, then location, then stands. Since they knew Echo is last one alive, instead of calling the operator, they said he. Let's take a look again on the graph I had shown at the very start. There are always exceptions to the rules, we'll get on that later, but here's another example when operator information has a bigger priority over the location. The shield is main right now. Oh my god, he's on the roof. 
any meta operator and BB, which is Blackbeard, usually should be called the first. Because you don't want your team to be picking BB or the whole attack or defense strats evolves around the meta operators. Is there clash? Well, the whole team needs to know where she is because even those that are on the other side of the globe will get useful info from that. It's a piece of indirect information for them. When talking about health, call it by its bars, not percentages. No health points. Knowing that operator can be killed with a body shot or smoke grenades or by the damage of your flashbang is game changing. Calls can and will give you better chemistry. If your teammates know what you are facing at, he knows how to help you out. A side note about global calls. If you yellow ping someone, don't say on ping. Say in hookah and then maybe you can say on ping. Just to let your team know that there is a yellow ping and what it stands for. The worst thing for me is someone saying on ping. I need to do a full 360 to see where the ping is. And yes, I know that pings are shown the compass, but it really doesn't help that much. When it comes to giving calls, and you know the other team's names, like if you're playing against known streamers, pro players, etc. Do not give calls by their names, but their operator. It's better off to say, Hibana killed me, rather than Shaiko killed me. Here's a pangos clip. Yeah. Uh, n never call out, never call out the player name, like Citizen. I need the operator name because I don't know yeah. who he's playing. All right, sorry. Like I don't care who is it's Shaiko or Citizen or Bikini Party. <laughs> I want to know what operator it is. Because uh, because uh, you said Citizen dead. I'm like, is that Jaeger <coughs> that I'm fighting or is it someone else? Like I don't know. Oh, yeah, hey, you want to want to do cafeteria again? I think it will work. We just... Speaking about that, this is really important when it comes to getting information. If you have been killed from Vigil in admin on consulate and you said. Admin, two bars. If your team kills Jaeger around meeting, there's a huge possibility that your team will miss Vigil. When it comes to helping your teammates, this doesn't mean just having an angle for them. Impact checking freezer to cocktail walls on cafe is also something that you must call. If you can deny hard breaches on below, you need to say that because cocktail offenders won't give a damn about Hibana or Ace trying to open it then. They only need to focus on bar and the white hallway attackers. And if attackers manage to open up the freezer walls, it's time to retreat from the cocktail. This also applies to yokai drones, such as let me drone for you, or I will give you yokai in X or Y spot. You need to use pick face smartly. Take a look at the following video. For the context, the last round they have lost the round because of Blitz pushing for the main stairs, Twitch being on the night of windows and Hibana opening up game's walls from long. I need, I need more help on the main stairs. I need to stop this Blitz from getting up the staircase. They do not push off us until later, okay? They well, I could play door. library. They might this time, but yeah. I, I could maybe play like library area, me, for pottery. Yeah. But... I can put an echo drone in the uh, stairs. I can put an echo drone in the stairs. Yeah, do that. Uh, maybe, Lian, if you can mute all the walls because they ban at the bottom of each wall, you know? Yeah, yeah. What drink, what drink do I like? yeah, right. okay. Take the pick phase as a way to discuss how to adapt. Everyone that has info on how did they push needs to take a part in these communications because any misinformation could leave a loophole in your defense. For the defenders, count how many drones you have destroyed. Getting three or more drones is considered as a very good during the preparation phase. You also need to know specific calls such as Z. Connector, L, short, long, or operator names like BB instead of Blackbeard, Zoe instead of Zofia, and so on. In the already mentioned subreddit, you can find a lot of similar calls. Hopefully, Kickstar will finish up the R6CC anytime soon, but if you would guys like to me try to make one, and I cannot promise that I will be able to because I will need a lot of pros input here, let me know down in the comment section. Before solo queue, you're most likely communicating not enough, and when you are, you're not doing precise calls. In the most of the round, someone will be talking and give intel. So if you need to sound whore, make sure to assign the push to defend button, either on TeamSpeak or Discord. For solo queue, I have gone how to solo queue in a solo queue video. But what I wanted to highlight here is, you don't want to IGL in solo queue. 
Most people do not want to listen comments from the random dudes. This doesn't mean you shouldn't ask for the help or ask what's happening, but do not give orders. Let your team know that something should be done. And if it is not being done, well, good luck. And speaking for the five stacks, it is really important to give direct commands as an IGL. But more about the IGL can be found in the top right corner.